Hey everybody, Carl Schuff here from GreenSock, and today I'm excited to show you how some recent changes to GSAP are going to make it really easy for you guys to do animations on SVG elements. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you this little basic demo that has a few elements spinning using a CSS animation. Both the SVG and div are made up of two components, an outline and a solid rectangle. Uh, the difference between them, though, is that in both cases, the solid rectangles use a transform origin using a percentage-based value, and the outlines both use pixel-based values. So let's just take a spin in a few browsers and see what happens with this very basic CSS animation. As you'll see in Internet Explorer, there's no animation happening whatsoever on the SVG, and that's because Internet Explorer insists that all transforms must be placed in the transform attribute of the SVG elements. So Right off the bat, Internet Explorer is out the window. Next, we'll go over to Firefox, and you'll see here that we're getting some very weird results uh, over here because Firefox is not honoring the percentage-based transform origin that we've set on the div on, on the SVG solid rectangle. All right, so here we have wildly different behavior in Firefox from Chrome with the same code. Let's go over to Safari. And we might think that we have some hope here because both of them are spinning exactly the same. They look nice. But the problem in Safari is that if we zoom in, notice how there's a discrepancy now between the position of the origin of the percentage-based element and the pixel-based one. The more we zoom in, the worse it gets. If we zoom out, you're going to see problems too. So this animation here looks good at actual size, but you know if your user decides to zoom in or out, the whole thing blows up. So let's take a look at how GSAP can solve all these issues. I'm going to get rid of all the CSS animation related code in this demo so far. And we're going to jump over to my JavaScript panel. We don't longer need any of this other stuff. And I'm going to just enable this tween max tween, which is basically going to take all those elements, uh, the rectangles and the outlines of both the SVG and the div, and do a 360 degree rotation on them and use a percentage based transform origin. So by doing that, I'm just going to now run this file. And using CodePen's live reload feature, all my browsers are going to be updated. And I'll just drag IE over here, and you'll see now that that code works exactly the same. It actually spins uh, in IE. The SVG is working great. Um, we'll jump over to Firefox, where remember we had that big issue with uh, the transform origins when they were percentages being completely ignored. Now they are not. They're completely, everything's lined up. The same code is doing the same thing to all elements, whether they're SVGs or divs. All right. Let's go over to Safari. What was the issue in Safari? It was that when we zoomed in, things blew up. So now with the GSAP code, I'm going to zoom in. Oh, wait, there's no nothing blowing up. Nope, let's zoom out. Um, and you'll see that everything is good. So uh, we're really excited for solving these sort of cross-browser problems that can happen very easily when you're using other tools for animation. So we've seen one box spinning around its center so far, but I have another demo here that just illustrates exactly how we can use various syntaxes for transform origin and get the same results on a div and an SVG. All right, so what you can do in your own time is test this demo in whatever browsers you want, and you can see now that we're using keywords for transform origin, we're using pixels, um, we're using percentages, and you get this really nice, fun, sequenced animation. Now, I can go over into any browser here, especially Internet Explorer, I can refresh and you're going to see the exact same results um, using uh, percentages, keywords, or pixels. Um, we'll jump over to Firefox, which we know doesn't like keyword values or percentages. And so I'm in Firefox now and the animation is going to run exactly the same way on the div as the SVG using the same code. Uh, Safari, we'll just do a quick little uh, refresh here. All right, it's going to work the same way. And while it's running in Safari, we're going to uh, zoom in and we're going to zoom out. That little flash that you saw was just something that happens with CodePen's live reload. All right, so pretty much bulletproof here. So hopefully by now you guys have seen how we've been pretty successful at normalizing the behavior of animations on SVG and regular DOM elements across browsers. 
I've been focusing mostly on just various interpretations of SVG within the browsers and actual bugs. But at the core of SVG and in the spec, the way transform origin is handled is very different than how we do it with regular DOM elements. Um, with regular DOM elements, transform origin is always relative to the element itself. So right now, if we look at the div outline, uh, the transform origin of what we're using as center right now is 200 pixels from that element's top left corner and 50 pixels down gets us the center. But in the world of SVG, the transform origin is relative to the element's parent. So here we have different numbers because we're going 250 pixels over and 150 pixels down from this point. And we feel that a lot of users who just want to simply spin things or do transforms have the mindset of the transform point being relative to the element itself. So watch what happens. I'm going to turn the animation on here. And right now, both elements are going to be um, animating from what appears to be uh, rotating around their center. But what I'm going to do is let's say, oh, you know what? I love it spinning around its center, but I want to move it down to the bottom. Well, if I go to the SVG and move it down to 200 pixels and hit run, and watch what happens. It's now animating around this origin right here. It's no longer animating around its center. Uh, but anybody who's done any CSS animation or animation with uh, GSAP knows you don't have to worry about those things. So if I change the div to have a top of 200 and hit run, it starts on the bottom and it's still rotating around its center. So um, we think it's a lot to ask animators to always recalculate a transform origin whenever they happen to move something because we all know that animation is all about tweaking and trying new things and to have to manually track the transform origin uh, is actually a lot of work. So what I want to do is show you that we're going to get rid of all of the CSS animation code here real quick. All right, so we shouldn't have any animation at all. Both of our elements are sitting at the bottom. I'm going to go over to the JavaScript side of things. I'm going to activate my tween max tween, which is using the 50% origin, which just means the center of the element. And when I hit run, the same code is going to spin both elements around their center. So uh, we're really excited about this behavior that's now in GSAP, and uh, we hope you're excited too. And start opening up a whole new world of uh, SVG animations that are going to be mind-blowing. All right, folks, see you around.